Speed up your morning makeup routine with a cool makeup technique that you've probably never heard of. In today's style file, an out of the box way to use fake tanner on your face to create semi-permanent contouring. Studio 5 style and beauty contributor Megan Moore cleverly calls this technique tan touring. Ha <laughs> ha. Contouring, mm -hmm. tan touring, you punny, you're so punny. <laughs> All right, she says it's a great way to leave you looking like you have a sculpted, sun-kissed face, even when you're wearing no makeup at all. And I asked you during the commercial break, is this a thing or is this your thing? And you said, I don't know, but I've been doing this for years. I've never seen anybody else do it, but I'm sure I'm sure I'm not alone. But I've been doing it for a few years. I've been a self-tanner wearer like my whole adult life because mm -hmm. um, I just am pretty pale naturally. So I like to use a safe option. But I realized really quickly that if I tan my entire face and it's all one color, it's very noticeable, right? You've seen that look where it's like, oh, it's a little orange, right? Yeah. So this was my way of kind of tweaking it to, to, to look at it more like makeup and less like self-tanner. So talk us through the process then. What do you do? So basically we're using a, a mousse um, fake tanner, right? Okay. And we're applying it with a makeup brush. So we're using it literally the way we would if we were contouring with bronzer, right? So here's a video of me doing this. This is actually a few years old, but you can see, I mean, the technique is the same. So I'm using the self-tanner to sculpt the forehead, underneath my cheekbones, under my jawline. So it gives you the look of a contour, but it's more permanent, lasts about five days. Okay. And then when you're not wearing makeup, you have some definition in your face, which is great, uh -huh. wonderful. Uh -huh. And then it, it gives a look of color, of tan, but without that all over kind of orangey tan. Okay, now you know women everywhere are a little scared of fake tanner. Even me, I'm with you, I've been using fake tanner my whole adult life as well. Same thing, yeah. I like a little color, but mm -hmm. I wanna do it the safe way. It can go wrong fast. So what's the key to making this look natural? I think the key is always less is more, right? So when we apply this, we're literally doing a pea size amount. It's tiny, a tiny bit, because we really want it to look almost like a shadow and not necessarily like a tan, right? That's the, that's the concept behind contouring is we're creating shadows in the face. Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing here. A little goes a long way. And then applying it with the right kind of tool. So we'll talk, the, the brush, the, the, this, is, this is called the Becca brush. But basically you want something that's very, um, blunt on the end and that's going to help spread it, smooth it, blend it really nicely okay. so you don't have any lines on your face. I think that's the, the key here, right? It's got to yes. be blended. And I'm sure practice makes, I don't want to say perfect because it's our face. Yeah. We don't need a perfect <laughs> face, but I'm sure practice helps. <laughs> yeah, so I did I did all of the trial and error for you and Good. I have to say that, yeah, there was a few times I didn't look so hot, right? I was like, oh, that was not the right color. Um, so I, fit, I found the products that work the best and the brushes that work the best so you don't have to go through that. So. Okay, we're going to get into this. Up next, step by step or swipe by swipe, I guess, Megan is going to teach us this technique of tan touring and we've invited some Studio 5 viewers to join us here in studio to learn along. So we're going to have a live lesson in tan touring 101. The Diet Coke is flowing already in the dressing room. They are ready. We are ready. Megan and I circle up with them when we come back. We have stepped outside the studio. We are in the Studio 5 dressing room to talk about a trendy makeup buzzword. That is contour. Contour makeup, all the rage, but it can be a pain to apply every day and then wash off with your makeup. So Studio 5 beauty contributor Megan Moore is cluing us in on a technique she developed called tan touring. The idea is to use self-tanner to shadow and define your face. And we are going to try this together today here in the dressing room. I'm not going down alone though. I've got four of the cutest Studio 5 viewers I've ever seen. So everybody say hello to Mindy, Sarah, Kennedy, and Angie. Show of hands, who's scared? <laughs> who's scared? We're putting tanning cream on our face. You ladies are brave. Here's the best part. I think it was Mindy who nominated, right? And didn't tell the friend group what they were in for. Smart move, smart move. Okay, first of all, we've got to get to the right product. You ladies, I'm going to listen along and learn along with you too, but the right product really matters. Yeah, for sure. So what you want to do is make sure you're using a liquid formula. I love a mousse because I just think it lasts better and it works really well. You also want something that's got a very green base or a very dark brown base. If it's orange, it's not going to work, right? Because we're okay. trying to create shadows on our face and those are typically pretty ashy colors. Right. So I love this one by Saint Tropez. This one comes in a small travel size, which is nice. So if you want to just try it and dip your toe in, or this one is also available at Sally's. It's called Tan Wise. It's a little more affordable. So if you're not quite sure, again, that's a great option, but they're both foams. Okay. 
or okay. a mousse. And brushes matter too. Brushes matter too. So you want something that's going to be very um, flat across the top and it's going to have a nice corner to it. So there's a few different options out there, but what you want is something that's going to give you a nice defined line, but it's also big enough to blend. So those, okay. are, those are the two things you're looking for there. Are we ready? Are we ready? Here we go. They've got their bottles and brushes in hand. I'm going to observe from above. Here we go, ladies. <laughs> Megan, take it away. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with our foam and we're just going to shake it up, make sure it's ready to go. Shake, and shake, shake. Just apply a tiny little bit to the top of the brush. It's probably just all, like a pea size or less, right? Less is more, right? Less is more, so it doesn't need too much, okay? We're going to start with the forehead. So we're going to take it up right next to the hairline and just lightly sweep back and forth. Okay, on the forehead. If you have too much on your product, you can always wipe some off. And you're just gonna blend it up into the hairline. So you should be seeing the actual line, though, of, of You should product. see some color, yeah. And you just wanna kind of blend it up. Now remember, this is something that processes and then we wash off. So we wouldn't leave it like this as we're <laughs> oh, washing, good. right? Are you relieved to hear that? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I bet, okay. I bet. So slight, just blend it down into the forehead so it's very gradual from the darkest down to above your eyebrows where okay. it's gonna be a little bit lighter. Okay. Now typically we would do this at night, right? And sleep on it and then wash it off in the morning so it's not quite so dark, okay? Okay, all right. Okay, so then we're gonna move on to our cheekbones. So if you need a little bit more, you can add a little bit more, but again, not too much. Can I do a live check-in over here, Mindy, how we feeling? <laughs> and then we're gonna no, sweep I, it underneath I'm the cheekbones. I'm not sure, we'll give this a whirl. <laughs> you got a skeptic down here, Megan, you got a skeptic. <laughs> so for the cheekbones, you're gonna put it right underneath your cheekbones, sweep it back towards the hairline. Again, you may see a little line at first and that's okay. We're gonna soften it by blending. You can start to do some swirls if you need to blend that line a little bit. Okay. Make sure it doesn't come close to your lips though. You want it to stay back, you know, behind the apples of your cheeks up into the hairline. Angie, how's it feeling down here? Really good. I'm starting to see the definition there. It's looking pretty. How awesome if that stayed on like for days. Like you could wake up with natural cheekbones, right? I mean, you kind of have those already. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> wow, so no. it's just accentuating <laughs> your already good your good look. Part. It's doing. It's good. It's awesome. Awesome. pretty. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so we've got cheekbones. Okay. Is everybody caught up on cheekbones? Yeah. Okay, the last place you're gonna apply this is gonna be down underneath the jawline. Now, why underneath the jawline, Megan? Oh because, uh-oh, <laughs> uh-oh. If you have too much, you can always blend it out with a little bit of moisturizer. Okay. We had a panic down there saying, <laughs> little okay. too much product. And remember, it looks dark at first, okay? okay. Now, right. underneath the jawline is important because this is where a shadow would naturally be, right? Right. Our, but a lot of times we lose that sharp line, especially as we get older, uh -huh. right? So, we've got a <laughs> I saw hand raised. I'm going to hang out with you because I get you there. I totally get you there. So if you just take it underneath the jawline, you want to make sure it's uh, it's blended. You don't want to see a harsh line. And then pull it down the neck. It's going to lift and slim the neck. Right? So I'm going to oh, say what... Like yes, we do. I'm going to say what you're not saying. Goodbye, double chin, right? Yeah. Thank you. There you go. Okay. 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 I actually do this every day before we go in the studio with, with bronzer. bronzer. Yeah. Which is a very common thing. So this is going to take that step out of your routine because uh -huh. it's there. So you can see now I've got a shadow there. You want to blend it up behind the ear and down the neck. Make sure that it's blended so we don't yeah. see any harsh lines. But now we've got that depth there and a really nice line. Now again, this is very extreme right now. We sure. wouldn't walk out like this. Okay? <laughs> but if it processed for about six to eight hours and then we wash it off, the dark part of the bronzer stuff will wash off, but the color that we've created will stay there for about five days. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. Now, Kennedy, you're my girl, so I'm not making fun. <laughs> but I'm looking at Megan's face and I'm looking at your face and you went really light on the product, girl. Well, I'm, I'm nervous. First of all, I, I have no cheekbones. I think they're down here now. Oh, whatever, That's <laughs> whatever. What you do now, this is so fun. Would you try this at home? I would. Yeah. I definitely would. What about you, Ange? Would you try this at home? I'm totally doing it. She's on board. Yes. Yeah. She's yeah. like redoing the cheekbones. She's like more, more of that. Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. Would you guys try it? Yeah? I would. This is easy enough that I could do it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, say, that, say that again. It's easy enough, I could definitely do it. Ding, ding, ding. We love the word yeah. easy. And now that you've recruited all your friends and you brought them down with you, what do you think? I love it. I love it. I'm a makeup girl. I've always yeah. done a lot of makeup, but I've never tried anything like this. Oh so it's exciting. Yeah, it's I'm going to be trying this too. Megan, thank you so much. You're super welcome. Welcome. And you have the tutorial on your website. Yes, you can always find it there. I've got a YouTube video that it breaks it down and all the products listed as well. So. Listen, this is my favorite day on the job, I have to say. <laughs> Hanging out with you guys, so much fun. Megan, thanks.